Hi, now I came across something really interesting actually. It was called laser stacking and it's a fabrication technique from using layers of acrylic in a CO2 laser to both cut and weld material all at the same time. Now it's not me obviously, I just came across this with a group of uh, research scientists doing it and they've done things like pinball machines, uh, air hockey, uh, working pair of scissors and it really caught my imagination. Now I've got a, a laser cutter, it's a, a Chinese knockoff CO2 30 watt laser cutter, it's not the most brilliant thing in the world, it's quite clunky because um, the interface only works on an old, old um, Windows machine and it's just not very forgiving so it's quite difficult to work with. But it's what I could afford, it was 140 quid, and I use it quite a lot as it happens. Now, I, while we were waiting for the wind to pick up so that the wind turbine could be tested in real wind, I decided to play with the laser cutter and looking at boxing things, and that's what put me in line with this, really. And it was absolutely fascinating. So I thought, well, hey, I'm going to give that a go. All you do is stack the acrylic up and pop it in the laser. Now, there's a number of techniques that they list, and the one that we're going to try is welding. We're going to leave the other techniques for um, different times, really. And what I've done is I've done a drawing of a square. Not the most exciting thing, but I'm going to stack two layers of acrylic and try and cut out and weld a square onto one layer underneath. So let's give that a go. Okay, so I've got a couple of bits of acrylic and I've put them on top of each other. We'll put them in the laser. Let's give it a go and see. It's actually kind of exciting, really. Okay, that's done. Let's see if we can get it apart and see what it looks like. Okay, that actually came apart. That's amazing. That worked really well. It has welded the top square onto the bottom square. And apparently that weld will easily withstand 15 kilos or something like that. It's a very strong weld. Now, they talk about four techniques here. They've got um, weld, release, cut and heal. And I'm going to look at the other techniques in different videos. I just wanted to try that welding and try to get it right. And it took me a little while to get it right, actually. Now, the whole laser stacker thing, they've in fact written a uh, add-on to SketchUp uh, called Laser Stacker. Uh, and it will help do an awful lot of the things that I just did by trial and error. Because the first thing I did was cut out a piece to see how many passes it would need to cut right the way through. Then I added a couple of passes on so they would weld the one to the other and that's how I worked it out really. But obviously I did that by trial and error on that machine that I've got and it would be much handier if I didn't have to do that. And apparently Laser Stacker will work all that out for you which is pretty cool. Now, there is one other technique that I want to explore and that is not cutting. Is if you defocus the CO2 laser or any laser pass it over, it softens the plastic and then gravity will make it bend. So you can actually bend by this as well as cutting. So it seems like there's five really interesting techniques to explore. Now being able to lay up layers like that and fabricate them together, well I can see a hundred uses for that, but certainly what they've been doing with it is just fantastic. So I thought I would share this with you because I'd never heard of this before. And um, we are of course waiting for wind. But I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.